Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, we will be solving an interesting radical equation, fifth root of 7x minus 3 whole cube plus 8 times fifth root of 3 minus 7x whole power negative 3 equal to 7. We will find out real values of x. While solving, I will use exponent exponent properties, quadratic equation formula and conclude our result. So let's get started. I am going to consider our first term as y first complete term as y. Now I want to see how it will be written second term in terms of y. So let us consider only this part in terms of y. Okay. So we will write, let me write here, 8 times fifth root of 3 minus 7x whole power minus 3. First step I would write fifth root of 1 over in the denominator to make our power positive 3 minus 7x whole power 3. In next step I will take minus common from the denominator. So it will become minus 1 here and in bracket it would be 7x minus 3 whole cube. In next step I will make both the denominators separate. I can write like this fifth root of minus 1 times fifth root of 7x minus 3 whole cube. Now you can see easily what is this? This is y. And what about this? So we will derive something here. If I will ask you minus 1 raised to the power 5, then your answer will be minus 1. Now raise both sides power 1 by 5. See what will happen. This 5 will get over a power b by the property. Let me write here equal to a power bc. So our expression or our value will become minus 1 equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 over 5. So overall conclusion is this value is equal to minus 8 over y. Okay, so let us write in the original equation. This term is minus 8 over y. This one is y. So let's frame the equation. y minus 8 over y equal to 7. Multiply equation by y. y square minus 8 equal to 7y. Take all the terms to left hand side. Minus 7y minus 8 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation in y. I will use quadratic formula. y will be equal to minus b. So 7 plus minus square root of b square 49 minus 4ac. So plus 32 divided by 2. I will write y is equal to 7 plus minus 49 plus 32 81. So let me write 9 directly divided by 2. Once I will consider plus sign, then it will become 16 over 2, so 8. Once I will consider minus sign, then minus 2 over 2, negative 1. So there are two values of y. Remember what is y? y is our substitution. This one is y. So let us put the value of y separately. I will consider y is equal to 8 and negative 1. So let me consider y equal to, first I will write what is y. This term is y. So whole cube equal to 8. Okay, y is equal to 8. Then we will consider y is equal to negative 1 case. Okay, first solve this one. 7x minus 3 whole cube. Raise both sides power 5. So it will become 7x minus 3 whole cube is equal to 8 power 5. Done. Raise both sides power 1 by 3. So 7x minus 3 equal to 8 power 5 whole power 1 by 3. Okay. Now I will write 8 as 2 power 3. 
so it will become 2 power 3 times 5 whole power 1 by 3. Now same exponent property I will use that is a power b whole power c is equal to a power bc. So this will become 2 power 3 into 5 into 1 by 3. This 3 will be over. So it is ultimately 2 power 5 which is 32. LHS is 7x minus 3 equal to 32. So 7x add 3 to both sides equal to 35. x will be equal to 5. Okay. Our first solution x is equal to 5. Now let us solve this second equation y equal to negative 1. So I will write again fifth root of 7x minus 3 whole cube equal to negative 1. Raise both sides power 5. So 7x minus 3 whole cube equal to minus 1 power 5 which is minus 1. Consider both sides 1 third power. So it will become 7x minus 3 equal to minus 1 raised to the power 1 by 3. So that value we know it is minus 1. So 7x is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2. So x will come out ultimately 2 over 7. So we have calculated already x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 2 over 7 as our solution. Let us verify both the values whether it is satisfying or not. So what I will do? I will write here. Let me write x is equal to 5. Let us put here 7 times 5, 35 minus 3, 32. So I will write fifth power of 32 power 3. Second term, fifth power of 3 minus 35, so minus 32. Power is minus 3. Done. Now next step I, I will write 32 as 2 power 5. So it will become 2 power 5 times 3 whole power 1 by 5. Okay. Second term would be 8. Now see here we will write minus 2 as a base. Power is 5 that is minus 32 times negative 3. Okay. This is how we can write. Okay. In bracket we can. And whole power is 1 over 5. Again same property. A power B whole power C equal to A power B C. Apply here. So we will get 2 power 3 plus 8 times this will become 5 and 5 will be over. So what would be left? Minus 2 raised to the power minus 3. So 8 plus 8 times let me write minus 2 over power plus 3. So this will give us 8 times 1 over minus 8. 8 minus 1 so 7 verified now come to second value x is equal to 2 by 7 let's verify this one its meaning is 7x is equal to 2 put in the equation so 2 minus 3 minus 1 power 3 fifth root okay in second bracket it would be 1 raised to the power fifth power it is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1 and power is minus 3. So this will give us fifth root of let me write in the form of minus 1 power 3 is minus 1 power is 1 over 5 plus 8 times fifth root so I will write 1 power minus 3 that is 1. So this value is we have already calculated minus 1 plus 8 times that value is 1. 1 power 1 over 5 is 1. So this is 7. That means this is also verified. 
So our ultimate and final solution is x is equal to 5 and 2 by 7. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video. Good luck. Bye-bye.